Street Fighter 2, the game that not only revolutionized fighting games, but took the arcade world by storm. Street Fighter 2, released in 1991, was released, was done four years after its original in 1987. And trust me, it is a lot different than its predecessor. I mean, look at it, you'll know why. <laughs> I wonder why Capcom even bothered trying to even make a sequel after that atrocity, but they did. And according to Capcom, this game completely surpassed their expected sales, and its success had led Street Fighter 2 to be yet another game ingrained in a infamous war between the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And of course, other consoles such as the ZX Spectrum, the Atari ST, and some other ones you've probably never even heard of had tried to make their own port as well. But honestly, I do not recommend giving you any any port that's labeled US Gold because they are lazy as heck with their Street Fighter 2 ports and I'm going to show you why. But thankfully we're not going to be looking at that crappy port. Today we're going to be looking at Street Fighter 2 Turbo on Genesis. Now this version was only released as a beta, meaning it never hit the shelves. And that was because of the fact that it had so many limitations, it couldn't be released as a full game. Even with these limitations, this game still looks very, very impressive for a beta. With a soundtrack that sounds so similar to the arcade and spices like they've been taken directly from the arcade board, this game proves how the Genesis could have easily beaten the Super Nintendo in sales. However, the limitations proved to be too much for the system, which is why they had to start over completely with the Special Champion Edition. For example, the heavy damage sections, as heard in this version of the game were completely cut out in the special champion edition in favor of just speeding up the songs when a character's health got low. This was because of the fact that Genesis had less sound channels to work with than the arcade board. Think about it, you have to have enough sound channels and memory to deal with punching, kicking, speech, and sound effects along with music. Because of this, higher quality soundtracks had to be sacrificed in favor of PSG in order to even have the space or sound channels for punches and kicks, as here, this was completely removed. <laughs> Thank you. 
However, some of the teams in the Turbo version actually did not do so well over on the Genesis. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the endings for this game, they're pretty much non-existent. The only ones that have actually have an ending are the four Grandmasters, which are Balrog, Bison, Sagat, and Vega. Everyone else is pretty much the exact same thing over and over again. much to sum it all up guys I'm really impressed with this beta it really really did surprise me because I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than this I wouldn't say US gold worse but still I didn't think it was gonna be that good so it really defied my expectations so pretty much I definitely recommend it give if you give it a try so guys if you like this video please drop a like um, that will help out a lot it's, it's much appreciated by me and if you would like to see more videos by, uh, like this please subscribe to my channel it will be much appreciated as well and I'll see you next time